Welcome to the Positive Thread Podcast. I'm Heather McConaughey, registered nurse turned nutrition and mindset coach, podcast host, and inspirational speaker. I have a passion for empowering millennial women because, well, I'm the oldest of the millennials. Think of me like your big millennial sister, here to help you avoid all the mistakes that I made along the way and inspire you to dream big and achieve your goals. Every week, I'll bring you an interview, topic, or Q&A session that will inspire you to transform your body, mind, and soul so you can achieve your dreams and make a positive impact in the world. We believe that when women prioritize self-care, everyone wins. If that sounds good to you, you're in the right place. Are you ready? Let's start the show. A lot of women are confused about their period, which is why I created this episode today. I'm just going to break down some super basic info for you all again, because a lot of times in life, we don't need to learn new information. We need to be reminded of the information that we've already learned. Can I get an amen? I know that's me. I just need to be told the same things over and over again. So that's what we're going to dive in and do today. But I wanted to let you know that I created a special digital course all about periods. It's called Period perfection. And it's really about how to optimize your period, optimize your life so that you feel amazing. I have a super special offer for you, which is to get 50% off the course. All right. 50% off. The only thing I ask in return is that you send me your feedback and you send me a note with your honest review. And I'll probably reach out to you and ask you how you liked it. So you can go to my website, heathermcconaughey.com backslash store and use pod 50 at checkout to get 50% off period perfection. You'll have lifetime access. You'll get any updates to the course as well. So I hope that you find this episode valuable. Let's dive in. Hey you, welcome to this week's episode of the podcast. We are going to be chatting about our periods, ladies. One of my favorite topics. Ever since I had an ovarian cyst three years ago and had to have surgery, I became really interested in hormonal health. I read Elisa Vitti's book, Woman Code, which was a great read for me. It helped me really understand a lot more about my hormones, how my blood sugar was connected to my estrogen and my cortisol and all of these different hormonal interactions that a lot of us women don't understand. And to be honest, a lot of the medical industry doesn't really understand. Women's health has been approached more from a emergent standpoint, like all Western medicine. So things that are more, you know, emergently serious, like a burst fallopian tube, you know, or an ectopic pregnancy or, you know, a burst cyst or different things like that. And so optimizing female hormonal health is not something that you can really learn a lot about from going to your normal OBGYN or your primary care doctor. You know, there's just things they don't quite understand. So we're going to be talking about how to count your cycle today, tools that I love, the four phases of your cycle, the different energies of your cycle, and really how to expand your knowledge. First, I just want to share about some tools that I love with my period. So the first thing that I love is something that I just started using recently, and it's called NYX underwear, K-N-I-X, I'll link it below. And basically it's period underwear, if you've heard of this, which is amazing. It has a super absorbable gusset. A gusset is basically the crotch part of your pants or your leggings, or it's that, you know, part that goes under you. That's called a gusset. And it is made with this special like carbon cotton. I don't know what kind of magic it is, but it's highly absorbable. These underwear are black, so, you know, they don't show anything. And the ones that I have are like boy shorts, so they're super comfortable and they're amazing to wear to bed. So the reason that I got these period underwear is because I hate leaking at night on my period or even like on a heavy flow day. Who has ever leaked at night and you've ruined sheets or pajamas or even a mattress? I have leaked and it's gotten on sheets. It's even stained like my nice memory foam mattress. So frustrating. It's like a stain that you really can't wash or get out. So I have a new mattress and new bedding and it's all white. And I was like, I need something to protect myself. (laughs) 
<laughs> so I ordered these NYX underwear and I know when my period is coming within a few days because I use the natural cycles app, which we'll talk about next. And so what I do is I just start wearing the NYX a few nights before I think my period is going to come. So I just put them on at night and the most amazing thing happened. I had my NYX on and guess what? My period came in the middle of the night. It was maybe like 4 30 or 5 a.m. I definitely bled onto the underwear, but nothing got on my bed or my sheets. I was so, so happy that they worked so well. And I wore them for a few days and they protected me against leaks. I like washed them obviously. And then I wore them again. What's cool is that special carbon cotton dries super fast. So you can like hand wash them in the morning and then you can wear them again the next night. You do need to wash them in a little bag that they'll send you to just keep them safe. You know, they're just like a more, not gentle fabric, but they kind of are a gentle fabric because they're an underwear. You just want to take good care of them. So absolutely love the NYX underwear. I'm obsessed with Natural Cycles, which is the app that I use to track both my fertility and my cycle. Now, I'm not trying to get pregnant right now. So even if you're not trying to get pregnant, it's still really helpful to know when you're fertile because one, you can use that as a form of birth control, but you can also learn a lot about your cycle by knowing when you're ovulating. So the knowledge that I've gained by using the Natural Cycles app is just priceless to me. I've been using it for a few years, Basically, what you do is you take your temperature every morning using this special thermometer that basically just gives you a highly accurate temperature. You log in the app and it uses an algorithm that's highly accurate to tell you when you're ovulating. And it takes a few cycles for the app to learn about you and your body. But I absolutely love it because it literally predicts the arrival of my period like almost exactly. And this past period, my period came on the exact day that the app predicted. And I'll give you a way to get 20% off your membership to Natural Cycles and a free thermometer at the end of the episode. So keep listening and I will share with you how you can take advantage of that. The third thing I love is my Diva Cup. So I love the Diva Cup because it's a way to catch my flow. And I love it because it reduces waste, right? It's reusable. You just wash it out. There's no tampons. There's no packaging. So if you're environmentally conscious, it's a great tool. I like it because you can travel with it. Also, once your flow is a little less heavy, I love it because you can leave it in for like 12 hours and you don't even have to kind of think about it. It's great for swimming. The downsides of the Diva Cup are it can be a little messy to change, especially when your period is really heavy and like the first day or two. So I tend to use the Diva Cup the first few days of my period if I'm at home, but if I'm out and about and like traveling, I will use tampons instead of the Diva Cup. I also like to use the Diva Cup at night because the Diva Cup plus my NYX underwear means I don't have to get up in the middle of the night to change a tampon. I don't have to worry about leaks either. So those are the three tools that I am currently obsessed with. Let's talk about the basics of how to count your cycle because I think a lot of women are still confused about this. So there are days to your cycle and day one is the first day that you bleed. Okay, so the first day of your period is also the first day of your menstrual cycle as a whole. So you don't want to just say that like it's been five days since my period ended. That's super confusing. I would have no idea what day of your cycle that you're on. You could be on day eight. You could be on day 12 because five days after your period ended tells me nothing. So when we're counting our cycle, we always want to refer to the day of our cycle based based off of day one is when your period started. So day five of your cycle is five days after your period started. Day 20 is 20 days after the start of your last period and so on. And then when you get your next period, let's say you're at day 30, let's say you're at day 30 and the next day you get your period, you're now at day one again. So your last cycle was 30 days. So that's how you count your cycle. Let's talk about the four phases of our cycle, ladies. Did you know that there are four different phases to your cycle? It's not just having my period and not having my period, all right? There's four distinct cycles. So the first is the menstrual cycle. The second is the follicular cycle. The third is the ovulatory cycle. And the fourth is the luteal cycle. And then they repeat. Your menstrual cycle is 
exactly what it sounds like, what you're used to, that's when you have your period. That's the menstrual cycle part of your entire cycle, okay? You're menstruating, you're bleeding during that time. The second phase is follicular. Follicular is when the follicle is growing on the ovary, right? So your ovary is where your eggs are, and there's little follicles that actually have to grow and burst. And when the follicle bursts, the egg travels out of the follicle, down your fallopian tubes, and if it meets a sperm and falls in love, then a baby can get made, all right? That's the bees and the birds talk for y'all. So that's the follicular phase. Then we have ovulatory phase, which is when that follicle bursts and you are fertile for basically 24 hours. The egg is good for 24 hours and then it's kaput. Sperm can last for five days. They can live for five days in your body as a woman. So that means if you have sex five days before you ovulate, and you didn't use protection, but then you ovulate five days later, you can still get pregnant because those sperm are alive and then they meet the egg. Now, after the egg drops, all right, the egg has dropped. If it's been 24 hours and then you have unprotected sex, you won't get pregnant because the egg only lasts for 24 hours. Now those sperm can live for five more days, but they've missed the egg, all right? So you're actually more fertile before you ovulate than after you ovulate. If you're trying to get pregnant, for example, you'd wanna have more sex leading up to ovulation than after you've ovulated. And then if you are trying to avoid pregnancy, you'd want to use more protection or be abstinent prior to ovulation. And then after you've ovulated, you're more in the clear, okay? That said, there are people who sometimes ovulate twice or ovulate late. So the body is amazing and a mystery at times. So the only way to really prevent pregnancy is to not have sex. All right. That's the most, you know, reliable form of birth control. Or if you're unsure about your cycle, make sure that you're using like double protection, like you're using condoms and pull out, or you're using condoms and the fertility method, etc. Because no one thing is guaranteed except for abstinence. Now, after you ovulate, you go into the luteal phase and that's where the corpus luteum, which is like the tissue on the ovary that the egg came out of, it's just kind of like shriveling up. And if that egg doesn't get fertilized and implant, then all your hormones drop and you shed your uterine lining and that's your period. And the whole cycle starts over again. It's such a beautiful cycle and it's such a gift. I think that we get to go through this and have this experience, but there's ups and downs to it, right? So one of the things to remember with your cycle is your brain chemistry is literally different every single day of your cycle. (laughs) If you happen to be a man and you stumbled across my podcast and you're listening and you have a woman in your life, just know that her brain chemistry is literally different every single day. So the ratio of the hormones is changing every single day throughout your cycle until you reset. Your estrogen rises at the beginning of your cycle and then it kind of dips after ovulation and then it really dips going into the luteal phase. Your testosterone, for example, has a spike during ovulation and then it drops and then it's just kind of steady. And then progesterone does a bunch of things during your cycle. So there's a lot of hormonal changes that we're going through every single month. And that's why we feel different every single day. All right. So if you feel different every single day, you're not crazy. You are a beautiful woman and your body is cycling and your brain chemistry is cycling. So we want to really understand that we have these different cycles to our period and our energy is going to feel different and we can actually sync our lives up with these different cycles. When you're menstruating, especially the first couple of days, your hormones are still pretty low. So you may not feel fabulous the first couple of days. Some women start to feel relief of PMS symptoms as soon as they get their period. But typically it takes a few days for your estrogen to start to rise again, which is going to start to make you feel good again. If you couldn't tell, I'm in my follicular phase while I'm recording this. So I'm definitely feeling in the follicular flow. I'm feeling more creative now. I'm feeling more social. I'm feeling more up and positive. So as you come out of menstruation, your hormones will start to rise. You'll start to feel better. You'll start to feel more social. PMS symptoms will abate. Follicular phase will continue to make you feel really great 
through ovulation. You might notice your sex drive increase through ovulation. You might notice your skin looks especially good, thanks to estrogen, super plump and just great. And you will, you know, just be more magnetic and you will be somebody who will kind of attract things to you during your ovulatory phase. Be careful if you go out and you're not looking for fun because in your ovulatory phase, you might magnetize a lot of things to you, all right? Some things wanted, some things not. And then if you ovulate and do not become pregnant, then you will go into your luteal phase. Now, luteal phase is pretty much always 12 to 14 days for basically every woman. The follicular phase is what varies, and that's where you get that variance in your cycle from like 26 days to like 32 days, things like that. But ovul- or the luteal phase is pretty much standard. So in the first half of your luteal phase, you'll probably still feel pretty good. But the second half of your luteal phase is typically where women start to experience PMS. So decreased energy, increased irritability, feeling less creative, maybe feeling more interior, not wanting to socialize as much, craving certain foods, craving sugar, chocolate, things like that. That's more of the luteal phase. Now, there's nothing wrong that we change and vary through these phases, but it is something that the more knowledge that we have, the more empowered that we're going to be. And that's why I created Period Perfection, which is a digital course that I created to really help you understand your period and optimize it your life. You will be a master in no time thanks to learning how to flex your exercise and work priorities based on your cycle, how to optimize your social life so you actually like people during PMS. That would be great, right? Why you bloat and what to do about it. The bloating monster strikes again, okay? I know I experience bloating. Let me know if you do as well. You'll learn how to track your cycle. You'll learn about moon sinking, which is super cool, and more. What's included in Period Perfection is over 100 minutes of video learning content, easy to digest lessons, a downloadable PDF workbook, and knowledge that will last you a lifetime. You'll also have access to the course forever. You just go to my website and log in, and you'll find all of your course material there. You'll also get any future updates to the course as well. And people love the course. Jillian said that she She loves period perfection. She's learning so much about her body. Megan said it was so helpful. And she said the content was put together in a way that was just really easy to digest. So if this sounds like something that you want to explore and deepen your knowledge, then I'm going to give you a special discount to grab the course. Now, this is just for podcast listeners. And what you will do is go to my website and go to the checkout page, go to the store, click on period perfection, and at checkout, put in the coupon code POD50. So POD50, I'll put it in the show notes too, POD50, and you're going to get 50% off the tuition of the course, okay? So this is for a limited time, so make sure you hop over to my website and grab your course. You're absolutely going to love it, and it's going to empower you so much with your cycle, right? We need more knowledge as women. We need knowledge about our bodies. We need knowledge about nutrition. We need knowledge about hormones. We need to empower ourselves as women with knowledge, and that's what I'm here to help you do. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you love this episode of the podcast. Shoot me a message on Instagram and tell me what you learned at Heather McConaughey. As always, you can go to my website, heatherMcConaughey.com for tons of resources. Listen to old podcast episodes, browse around, find something that inspires you and always feel free to connect with me. Thanks for listening. And I will talk to you soon. I hope that you found this episode valuable and that it reminded you of some things that maybe you knew and had forgotten, and maybe you learned something new. If you would like to dive deeper into understanding your period and optimizing your life, then make sure to take advantage of my special offer that's just for podcast listeners, and that's to get 50% off my period perfection course. The only thing I ask in return is your honest feedback on it, a short review, and you can get that 50% off today by going to my website, heathermcconaughey.com backslash store, click period perfection and use code pod 50 at checkout, P O D 50 at checkout.